in this problem we have to distribute candies among different people so we have a few number of candies and some number of people and we have to distribute it in based on one rule that people are standing in a queue so let's say four people are standing so first we give one candy to first person then second person we give two candies then third person we give three candies fourth person we give four candies and if we have more candies left then we come back to the first person and then give five candies again six seven eight again if we have candies we come here and give nine candies to these and maybe uh, now we have just four candies left but we had to give it to ten candies so whatever is remaining we will give it to the last person so this way we have to distribute the candies so the input will be the number of people and number of candies and output you have to return this vector so this vector will have 9 5 4 14 plus 1 15 so 15 comma then 12 10 and 12 this vector so if there are four people then this vector size will be four that is finally how many candies each person got so let's see another example then we will solve it so we have seven candies four persons so p1 p2 p3 p4 so one candy two candy three candy now we have three two five one six so just one is remaining so we give one to this so this is the answer if we had multiple iteration we would have added to this so it's very simple you start from beginning you run a loop while candies count is greater than zero and you initialize a value with 0 uh, 1 since the first person will get a candy of 1 and you have this result vector so what we can do result index so we also keep track of index so we start with first person so index is 0 index plus plus so insert at 0th index whatever was the count add to it this value and then remaining candies will be we have assigned this many candies to idx person so candies count will decrease by this val and uh, we will check if idx reaches the last one that is if idx becomes 5 then make it 0 or you can use idx modulo number of persons let's call it n instead of idx so that will also work but we don't need to take modulo each time so if idx is 5 in this case n then idx becomes 0 that is we come back to first person and if count or this value vl which is the next scheduled amount that will be given to the next person this is val we are also incrementing it so if val becomes more than the remaining candies then this val becomes candies so this is the candy that will be assigned to next person which is being pointed by this idx index and now this candies will become exactly zero candies minus equal to val and while well, we have set to candies for the last person so it will become zero and this loop will end so let's write the code for this uh, before that let's analyze the time complexity so we are running this loop until candy count becomes zero so if we have c candies in the beginning first we give one candy so it decreases by one then next in the next loop next iteration of this loop we give two candies in the third iteration we give three candies four candies and so on till maybe it runs for k iterations so this is roughly equal to c since the last one may not be perfect perfectly uh, this in this series but let's assume this is roughly equal to c number of candies so be distributed in this fashion this number of candies so this is k multiplied by k plus 1 by 2 this is roughly equal to c or you can move to this side so this is k square plus k 
so you can write it roughly k square so k is root c so you can say that it runs for root c iterations so the time complexity here is o of root c so this is the time complexity and the space uh, we are keeping track of a few variables so o of 1 but if you would like to count this result also so this we have to return anyway so then it will be o of n but there is no escape from this we have to return it so if you count just now auxiliary variables then it's o of 1 and time is o of root c so let's write this simple code initialized to 0 or let's call it candies count we start with one first candy first person one candy or in C++ you don't need even this so we have given this many candies to this person at index idx so we are adding to it and the remaining candies is this much less So this is for the last person where this we wanted to give candies count number of candies but it's less than it's more than uh, the remaining candies so we will only give this many candies so our answer did not match so let's see what's the problem so clearly the problem here is that we are not incrementing the candies we are always giving the same number of candies so, so that's why we gave one 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 then again one 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 and it exhausted so this plus plus is required next person we give one more candy now it's working let's submit and the solution is accepted and everybody got it here that is zero millisecond so all the test cases were very small and now let's write this in Java and Python. And the Java solution is also accepted. Finally, we will do it in Python 3 And the Python solution is also accepted.